they say that if you find yourself in a war, stop digging. Which means that if you find yourself in an untenable situation, the best thing that you can do for yourself is to stop making it worse. This is what the Minister of ICT and the Deputy Minister of Sports did. First thing that happened was that we need also to rebuke Mr. Gift or Salos Siva, even though he mesmerized us with the flagrante delicto speech that he did the other day. But on this one, he was wrong and he needs to be rebuked. Of course, he has withdrawn. It comes after a tweet by advocate Fazai Mairi, who is also an MP for Triple C. And she says, I want to see, can you post my Vetera CV? I want to see something. And Ostalos pulled out this picture, which is almost like a very, very low blow, imagining that Fazai Mairi, not so long, she was being accused of being the girlfriend of Nelson Chamisa. There were reports that Fazai Mairi was pregnant. A whole lot of drama that happened. And a lot of people were saying, what, 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 what. But at the end of those uh, baseless and founded accusations about her that she was pregnant. Why hasn't she given birth yet? Because you can't have you can't have be pregnant for five years or four years. But anyway, that's not the story. The story here is what she fell into that trap. She was not supposed to respond. And number two, she was not supposed to give interviews when she knew that she was not yet ready to deal with since I mean, that was coming from Zimbabweans, walk Zimbabweans, the technologically advanced Zimbabweans. Because her appointment as the minister with her degree in marketing, it, does, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what she just needs. She just needs a team, a strong team that can allow her to navigate through her ministry. She doesn't need to do anything. Why do I say this? In 1980, the first cabinet of Prime Minister Robert Mugabe, it had different characters who were appointed in different ministries. For example, the Minister of Youth was given to a 22-year-old doc uh, Dr. Teorai Ropamjuru. She was still a young girl then. You can see even in the pictures, she was very, very much inexperienced. But what she just did was to find people that could help her ministry grow. Even the former Minister of Finance, Dr. Simba Makon, when he was appointed to become the Deputy Minister of Finance, deputizing Ino Sinkala, he was, he was a young doctor who had a doctor in microbiology. What does that have to do with the Minister of Finance? You see, there is nothing also to be ashamed of. Even Advocate Nelson Chamisa, he was appointed to the same Ministry of ICT that Tatenda Mawetra has been appointed. But it was all dependent on galvanizing a good team that can allow you to understand what ministry or what role have you been taken. Not just to take plagiarized courts of Bill Gates and this other court in this day and age that you know that they are internet gurus they are those people that are well knowledgeable in your area and you don't want to just fall into their trap that's what tatenda mavetra has done she has fallen into the trap and the best way that she can do is to stop trying to look like she's more ict work she must try to find a team that can assist her to navigate through her ministry or even ask guys from the opposition or even approach Chamisa, what was your plan about the ICT? We are from the two political spaces that are different, but you can I can lend a hand on what was the vision, what or the things that you think we should be where we, where we should be by now, or even consult the previous minister. What can we do? Is it do you just write quotes, or there are things that need to be considered? Like when she did this video. Well, it's always like that. People always talk, and I'm ready for all the talking. All we need to do is to work, and we're ready to work. You're heading into a ministry that is uh, one of the hottest ministries where technology is on the uprise. What would be your main key points going on? Good. 
we really need to appreciate what uh, the, the second public has done. The second public, for us to be able to achieve this, we need to adopt and also make sure that we enhance ourselves when it comes to this. And um, I, I really want to say that what we need to do now is to look at making sure that we work towards also engaging, also making sure that we can work towards uh, the, the global populace. I think we've, we've seen we've got the color, uh, we've got uh, programs that have been done, especially in the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education, and we need to engage. When you are in the ministry, it's a collaborative effort with all of us so that we achieve the results that we want. And I believe that as a cabinet, we need to work together so that we achieve these results. And I'm willing and willing to go. And I want to say that the city is the food of the world. We live with ICT, we dream with ICT, we sleep with ICT. Thank you. Thank you very much. She failed to understand that the issue of color is something that is in the educational sector. It is, it is something that is catered for by the education ministry. Right now, people are complaining about the expenses of the data. Those are the things that she should be pushing for, right? That we need to make sure that everywhere data is cheaper, is affordable. To put to task all the internet service providers to have faster internet. This issue of styling, it's a known thing. It's not like these people, they are not aware of the internet challenges that Zimbabwe faces. It's very it's very tough for you to do a, a Facebook live in Zimbabwe in many in, in many places because the internet speed is simply very, very low. Like for you to get 10 megabytes per second, I mean, it's a real struggle. So these are the things that she should be tackling pushing for to say we want to make sure that data becomes cheaper number two we want to make sure that we authorize other sales providers that can make uh, you know uh, access to internet faster those are the things that she should have mentioned those were low hanging fruits that she could do it she doesn't need to respond to any criticism she also fell into another trap she posted a picture when she was holding a master's degree and a degree certificate. My sister, Tatenda Mawetera, I'm not from your camp, I'm not from ZANU-PF, but what I'm saying is there is no need to panic. Relax. Just relax. And start to study, start to understand how other ministers of ICT are making it out in the world, and then you'll be okay. Despite the issue of meritocracy, that's a subject for another day, but the issue of you chilling down and not try to prove the naysayers wrong. That's the way to do it. But tell me what you think about the statements by Tatenda Mawetera and what you think about what she needs to do at this point in time now that she is the Minister of ICT. What does she need to do? Maybe you can give your advice. I will see you on the next video.